What's going on, guys? We're here live. We're not really live. We're pre-taped because that's what I do. Here at Swan Dive with Reina Yasmin. What's going on, peeps? What's up, everyone? How's it going? Hey, howdy. How's it going? Yo, yo, yo. I came to check you guys out. I seen you guys once before, not that long ago. It was at Taverna Costera. Very intriguing stuff. Like I want to see what you guys are about. So my first question, for someone who's never seen you before or never heard your sound, how would you describe your sound to them? So this is always a fun question. Um, I would describe our sound as kind of an eclectic mix of indie rock, uh, folk elements. I pull a lot of inspiration from Adrian Lanker and Big Thief. Um, yeah, and then we just like to kind of build dynamics into that, which becomes a little bit more of alternative rock sometimes. Yeah, um, I mean, Reyna hit the nail on the head. Uh, very Adrian Linkery. Very, um, I would say, very Pine Grovey too. It's, it's definitely got that vibe to it. Yeah, I definitely see a lot of those kind of vibes in there. Um, question for Peter. Is that right? Yeah. So you play violin with the band. I've never really seen that before live and in person. Uh, you blend right in. Uh, how did that come together? You being uh, bringing your sound to the band? Uh... I don't know. I mean, I've known Reyna for a while. We know each other from back from previous projects. Uh, we have a lot of mutual friends, and we just started all playing, and everyone's been really cool with uh, letting me play with them and kind of contribute what I feel like I can do sonically, uh, like, to the band's sound. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's been a really cool experience. I've never, like, my background isn't obviously in this, but it's been a really cool experience for me personally to work with her and a bunch of really great musicians. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely like how it sounds. And, uh, I can't wait to go back and, and watch it again. I recorded your first two songs. Can't wait to go see, uh, see those again. It's very, very soothing, you know, because I had an idea of what it was sounded like from when I was at Tarena. But like, okay, let's see how it sounds in this setting here at Swan Dive. How are you guys liking Swan Dive so far? Oh, th this is honestly, uh, of the, the venues we've played here in Vegas, like one of the coolest ones that I, I think uh, it, it fairly new, uh, opened up pretty recently, and I, I'm super excited to see where it goes uh, with shows in the local music scene here. Every time we get to play on a real stage, it's just so validating to us. Yeah, those so, floor yeah. shows, man, they get a little, they get a little tiring sometimes. Yeah. The fact <laughs> that we actually have a stage is beautiful. <laughs> it's not like, uh, I'm not going to say the name. You know where it is. I can't say because then I can't film there anymore. <laughs> There's a certain place that I complained about with the lights and not having a stage. Probably once this comes out, I'm not going to be able to be allowed there anymore, but it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I also heard a rumor that after the show, you guys would be here at Swan Dive, you would do a Swan Dive. Uh, like a... Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, maybe some ballet? Or um, there's no pools for me to jump into, but... <laughs> well, I think uh, part of that is diving into your own Shirley Temple. If I could, I would. <laughs> yeah, I do love them. I would bathe in a Shirley Temple if I could. Now, I remember the first time I ever saw you was about a year ago. I want to say at the Sand Dollar, you were doing an acoustic set. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, the first time I ever saw you uh, perform ever. Uh, how would you compare doing that to having your whole band all together? Was that something you were doing on your own, or were you playing these songs acoustically? Like, how does that work out? So uh, I'm always open to playing acoustic sets. They're really fun and sometimes a cool change of pace from what we normally do. Um, and they're always just, you know, my same original songs, just a stripped down, softer version of them. Yeah. Okay. A question for you guys. Uh, where would you guys like to see this project moving forward or some of the things that you look forward to doing? I just look forward to making good music with good people at the end of the day. It's what really matters. So. I think just enjoying ourselves, you know, playing together and building friendships and making great music, playing great music. Yeah. Well, just overall, how long have you guys been all together as this set? How long has that been, uh, this version of this band been around? That's hard to say. Uh, I mean, we've all known each other for a really long time, and we've been playing music together for a really long time. Um, Peter has played one other show with us. 
but you know I wanted him to hop on to this one and I'd love for you know him to play on future shows as well but uh, for the rest of us I mean we've been playing for a couple of years now too and then Gage has also been hopping on bass with us recently so well, how are you liking it so far Gage uh once again it's so validating when Raina asks me to play with them it makes me feel like a real musician <laughs> it's always like damn they want me to play with them little old me but I love it. I love getting to play with these guys. I was waiting for Rain to ask me to come in full time. <laughs> so I imagine you're looking forward to the next show, whenever that may be. I'm manifesting it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> let's hope. Let's hope. Let's make it happen. Are we going to make it happen? Next show. That bring yes. All right, any last final thoughts? Anything you want to say to the people? Anything? Any upcoming projects? What can they find you? What can they follow the journey? Yeah. Um, well, you can find me on all streaming platforms and social media at Rainy Yasmin. Uh, biggest thing that I want to share with everyone is I just hope that you feel connected to the music that we make. And I hope that it makes you feel maybe a little bit less alone and um, heard in your emotions. Other than that, we're also going to be releasing some new music uh, throughout this next year and also a single in December. So depending on when this comes out, it'll either be out or it won't be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, any final thoughts? Hey, guys. Yeah, you guys are just chilling. Yeah. Any final thoughts, Andrew? Um, thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, Swan Dive is awesome. Uh, thank you for being to all of our shows. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just gratitude all around gratitude to these amazing musicians that let me you know play with them that uh you know reyna comes up to me and, and says hey do you want to play a lap steel for this show or do you want to throw some banjo on a song like just i've never been in a project that has given me this much creative freedom uh and you know it's it's great to see people picking up on it you know we're not uh just writing with the intention of of you know, getting out there, it's, you know, writing something that's actually personal and seeing that that resonates with people is, like Gage just said, you know, all night, just really validating. What Nick said. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I definitely had a great time seeing you guys. I look forward to seeing you guys again in the future. Raina Yasmin, check them out. <laughs>